Tamil Nadu is rapidly emerging as a global powerhouse in the semiconductor industry, driven by a potent combination of visionary leadership, a robust talent pool, and strategic policy interventions under the Dravidian model of Ghanans. Spearheaded by the DMK government and championed by Chief Minister M.K. Stalin and Industries Minister T.R.B. Raja, the state is leveraging its decades-long legacy of education, industrialization, and equitable development to position itself as India's semiconductor capital. With a clear roadmap to contribute 40% of India's electronics exports by 2030 and achieve a trillion-dollar economy, Tamil Nadu is setting a new benchmark for industrial growth and innovation. The Dravidian model, rooted in the principles of social justice, education, and inclusive growth championed by leaders like Periyar and Annadurai, has been instrumental in creating a fertile ground for Tamil Nadu's industrial ascent. This Ghanan's model emphasizes equitable development, prioritizing education and skill development to create a workforce capable of meeting the demands of high-tech industries like semiconductors. The state's focus on education has produced a steady stream of highly skilled engineers and technicians, particularly from institutions like IIT Madras, which has partnered with global universities to offer specialized semiconductor programs. Tamil Nadu's decentralized industrial growth, unlike states where economic activity is concentrated in one or two cities, ensures that cities like Chennai, Coimbatore, Tiruchirappalli, Madurai, and Selam all contribute to the state's economic dynamism. This widespread development reduces regional disparities and creates a robust ecosystem for industries to thrive. The state's economic survey for 2024-25 highlights its demographic advantage, with a peaking working-age population and a focus on skilling that positions Tamil Nadu as a magnet for high-tech investments. Tamil Nadu's semiconductor ambitions were crystallized with the launch of the Semiconductor and Advanced Electronics Policy 2024 at the Global Investors Meet in Chennai. The policy aims to attract anchor investments, foster a semiconductor design ecosystem, and create a skilled talent pool of 200,000 by 2030. It offers substantial incentives, including up to 50% capital subsidy on projects supported by the Government of India's $10 billion chip subsidy plan, payroll subsidies for chip design firms employing local talent, and reimbursement for our derelated expenses. The state's focus on moving up the electronics value chain is evident in its efforts to transition from low-value assembly to high-value component manufacturing and semiconductor design. While Electronics Manufacturing Services, EMS, contribute significantly to job creation, their value addition is limited to 8-10%. to By prioritizing semiconductor ecosystems, Tamil Nadu aims to enhance domestic value addition and create high-skill, high-width jobs. A landmark achievement in this journey was the export of India's first semiconductor manufacturing equipment from Coimbatore by Yield Engineering Systems in March 2025. The shipment of the Verotherm Formic Acid Reflow Tool, facilitated by an agreement signed during Chief Minister Stalin's U.S. visit in 2024, marked a historic milestone. Coimbatore, known as the Manchester of South India, is emerging as a key hub for semiconductor equipment manufacturing, with YES commencing operations at its state-of-the-art facility in Sulur. Tamil Nadu's semiconductor strategy spans the entire value chain, from design and RD to manufacturing and equipment production. The state has attracted significant investments in semiconductor design, with companies like Applied Materials signing MOS to establish an AI-enabled center of excellence in Chennai. This center, set to create over 500 high-end jobs, will collaborate with local universities to strengthen the semiconductor ecosystem and develop a future-ready talent pool. Tiruchirappalli is also gaining prominence, with Taiwan-based Full Chain inaugurating a global RD center at Anna University's BIT campus in April 2025. This move underscores Tamil Nadu's growing reputation as a hub for deep tech innovation and semiconductor materials. Chennai-based Polymatech, one of India's first companies to manufacture semiconductor chips, plans to invest 8,000 crore rupees over the next two years to expand production from 300 million to 10 billion chips annually. The state's ability to provide critical infrastructure, such as uninterrupted water and power supply, further enhances its appeal.
Unlike other regions where semiconductor investments are limited to one or two cities, Tamil Nadu's decentralized industrial base allows it to host semiconductor-related activities across multiple locations, from Chennai's design hubs to Coimbatore's equipment manufacturing and Trichy's RD centers. A key pillar of Tamil Nadu's semiconductor success is its focus on skilling and workforce development. The state has implemented innovative training programs to ensure its youth are industry-ready. For instance, a four-year training initiative targeting polytechnic students across constituencies has already trained 344 individuals, with 334 receiving interview training and subsequent job placements. Plans are underway to recruit an additional 200 candidates, aligning training with investor needs to guarantee employment. Programs like Nan Mudhalwan and Pudumai Pen have set national benchmarks for skill development and gender parity, ensuring that Tamil Nadu's workforce is not only large but also diverse and highly skilled. The state's education budget of 55,000 crore rupees for 2025 to 26, nearly eight times the national per capita average, reflects its commitment to creating a knowledge-driven economy. Tamil Nadu's economic growth, pegged at 9.69% in 2024-25, makes it India's top-performing state. Its electronics exports, which reached $14.65 billion in FY25, account for 41.2% of India's total, a significant jump from 32.8% in FY24. This growth is driven by a strategic focus on high-value electronics components and a burgeoning semiconductor ecosystem. Analysts project that Tamil Nadu could achieve $22 billion in annual electronics exports by 2027-28. Despite global geopolitical challenges, including uncertainties following the Trump administration's policies, Tamil Nadu remains a safe and attractive investment destination. The state's business-friendly environment, supported by an efficient bureaucracy and robust infrastructure, has drawn praise from industry leaders like Anand Mahindra. Port connectivity, reliable power, and a skilled workforce further bolster investor confidence. Tamil Nadu's ambition to become a trillion-dollar economy by 2030 is underpinned by its industrial prowess and strategic vision. The state's gross state domestic product, GSDP, is estimated at 31.55 trillion rupees, 372.42 billion dollars, in 2024 to 25, with a CAGR of 11.63% since 2018 to 19. The vision document released at GIM 2024 outlines key focus areas, including semiconductors, electric vehicles, and global capability centers, GCCs, which have already attracted 40 to 50 new setups in the last two years. The state's ability to attract 6.64 lakh rupees crore in investment proposals at GIM 2024, expected to generate 27 lakh jobs, underscores its industrial might. By diversifying into high-growth sectors like semiconductors, Tamil Nadu is reducing its dependence on traditional industries like textiles and automobiles while maintaining its leadership in these areas. Despite its achievements, Tamil Nadu faces challenges, including global market dependence and environmental risks like cyclones and floods, which could disrupt industrial growth. The state's export-driven economy is sensitive to international fluctuations, necessitating robust strategies to mitigate external shocks. Additionally, competition from states like Gujarat and Uttar Pradesh, which are also vying for semiconductor investments, requires Tamil Nadu to maintain its edge through continuous innovation and policy support. The state's focus on high-value manufacturing and RD, coupled with its talent pool, positions it favorably to outpace competitors. Under the leadership of Chief Minister M.K. Stalin and Industries Minister T.R.B. Raja, Tamil Nadu is rewriting the narrative of India's semiconductor industry. The Dravidian model's emphasis on education, inclusivity, and decentralized growth has created a unique ecosystem where talent and opportunity converge. From Coimbatore's pioneering equipment exports to Chennai's design hubs and Trichy's RD centers, Tamil Nadu is building a comprehensive semiconductor value chain that promises to transform the state into a global hub. As Tamil Nadu races toward its trillion-dollar economy goal, its success serves as a testament to the power of visionary governance and strategic investment. With the world watching, the Dravidian Nayagan is not just dreaming of a semiconductor capital, 
it is making it a reality. Subscribe to AK Matrix today for in-depth analysis, powerful narratives, and the latest updates on issues that matter to you. Hit that subscribe button now and join the movement.